This is SBNN, the Safford Bulldog News Network, your source for everything Safford High School. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag Good morning, Safford High Schoolers. Today is Thursday, December 12th. I'm Justine Bay. I'm Sage Romero. This is Safford Bulldog News Network. And you're watching The Daily Show. Gear up, students. If you are interested in taking EAC courses this spring but can't afford the cost, come talk to Mrs. Ferber by Thursday, December 12th at 3 p.m. Students, if you signed up for a college class next semester, payment is due by Friday, December 13th, or classes will be purged. Also, remember to bring your proof of payment to the counselor's office. Are you a junior or senior who wants to make a difference in the life of a child? Make new friends? Do fun activities? Earn community service hours? And potentially earn scholarships? Join the Big Brother Big Sister program today. Give a child the chance to become your little. So the High School Bakes program is where we partner high school students as the mentor to a local elementary school student. So while the elementary school little has a role model, someone to look up to, what also makes High School Bakes so incredibly special is that it's developing the high school student too. There will be a mandatory informative meeting for those interested along with their parents at the CFA recital hall on Monday, December 16th at 5 p.m. Applications are now available in the office. FBLA members, please remember to turn in your form for regionals by Wednesday the 18th. Monday, December 16th at 7 in the Dave Player Center for the Fine Arts, SHS Movie Night sponsored by SHS Grit Club, SHS Link Crew, and SAHS Student Council. Admission, two cans of non-perishable food. Admission, include bottled water and popcorn. No outside food or drink will be permitted. If you bring a toy donation for the Toys for Tots drive, you will receive a raffle ticket for a student drawing from Santa's gift bag. He's not real. Nope. <laughs> Morning Bulldogs, you're watching Weekday Update. I'm your host, Elisa Gonzalez. And I'm Noah Santana. Let's get into the news. On Tuesday, Apple unveiled the updated Mac Pro, the company's newest model in the last six years. The base price for the computer is around 6,000, but if the customer were to upgrade the device, it could end up costing as much as 52,000. Though many Twitter users mock the device for its cheese grater-like appearance, Apple stock has risen over half a percent. Tuesday morning, the House Judiciary Committee unveiled two articles of impeachment for President Donald Trump. The first charges the president with abuse of power for pressuring Ukraine to investigate his political rival, Joe Biden. The second article charges Trump with obstruction of Congress for blocking the testimony of key witnesses. President Trump claims Ukraine officials felt no pressure to investigate Joe Biden. A volcano eruption on New Zealand's White Island has killed at least six people. According to New Zealand police, eight more people are missing and presumed dead. Officials say nine Americans were visiting the island at the time the volcano erupted, but the nationalities of the victims has not been confirmed. Swedish climate change activist Greta Thunberg has been named Times Magazine's Person of the Year. Thunberg's activism sparked a global movement known as Fridays for the Future, which encourages students and young leaders to protest for more eco-friendly policies. Though she is only 16, Thunberg has delivered speeches in both the United States Congress and the United Nations. Tune in next week for additional news coverage. And stay classy, Bulldogs. Hey Safford Bulldogs, Frolic is this Saturday, so make sure to go pick up your permission slips for Mr. Coke and turn them into him. After you turn in your permission slip, you can buy your tickets, so hurry in and buy them. Get your tickets early, don't wait in line. <laughs> if you are going to Frolic and you are wearing a dress, please 
Watch the screen. Now. Dresses may not be cut below the bust line. The bust continues around your sides directly under the armpit. With arms down at your side, if flesh touches flesh below the bust line, the dress is inappropriate. Please note that the bust should be covered on the sides. Dresses may be backless as long as they are not cut below the navel. Midriffs will not be exposed. This includes both the front and sides. With arms down at your side, if flesh touches flesh in the midriff section, the dress is inappropriate. Dresses may not be shorter than, nor have a slit that exceeds mid-thigh, as determined by the standard fingertip rule. If you are planning on attending frolic and you are wearing pants, you must also wear a tie. No blue jeans are allowed. Please wear nice shoes. The annual SHS Toys for Tots drive has begun. This is a yearly drive sponsored by the senior class to provide toys for children who might otherwise be toyless this Christmas. Should you like to donate a new unwrapped toy or two, please drop them off into Mr. Coke's room by December 17th. Or if you'd like to participate in a little friendly giving competition, give your first hour amped up to bring new unwrapped toys to donate. And the first hour class that has the most donations will get donuts or cupcakes, their choice, the last week of school. If your first hour will be participating, Miss Wood will come around and count the toys during six hour on December 17th to determine the winners. The library will be closed from 9 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. on Friday for Best Buddies activities. Attention all student council members, there is a meeting tomorrow at 11 a.m. in Mr. Durrell's room. Thanks for watching and always remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on social media. <coughs> I don't know what's wrong with me. Hit the folks and don't stop it.